Hey there, this is Jexy with the Systems Alliance, and in this video, we're going to go over what might be the end of Movie Pass finally. So I know people say Movie Pass is dead, but it's still a service. You could subscribe to it right now today. It's not actually dead, it just seems dead compared to what it was before. But it might actually be dead very soon. I mentioned in another video that Helios and Matheson Analytics, the parent company of MoviePass, were basically saying, okay, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna split from MoviePass, they're gonna be their own company, we're gonna continue doing what we're doing. But it doesn't look like that's going so well, and they may not get the chance to do it. In a 10Q filing with the SEC, Helios and Matheson said that they're running out of cash and they don't know if they can obtain any more. The company wrote that our cash and our cash equivalents may not be sufficient to fund our operations for the near future and we may not be able to obtain any additional financing. And coming up next month on December 18th, they're in danger of being delisted from the NASDAQ because they're unable to get their stock price to a dollar. Just a few days ago, Helos and Matheson proposed a one for 500 reverse stock split but was denied by their own board. And trying to do stuff like that to prop up your price so that you don't get delisted doesn't change the fact that you're still not a profitable company. Now, obviously, MoviePass, ever since they changed their business model, has had a massive drop in customers. So this is no surprise, but their way of getting profitable has not paid off for them, as it's just not a plan that can compete with the rest of the market. So MoviePass generated $79.9 million of revenue in the third quarter. That's 10% more than their April-June period, so that should seem pretty good, right? Well, the problem is Helios and Matheson delivered $130 million of loss in the third quarter. In a year ago, their net loss was 43 and a half million so yeah obviously as you can see they were losing money then they're losing even more money now that's not how you want your businesses to go it's a bold strategy cotton let's see if it pays off for them in april when movie pass customers were generally happy with them and their plan the average movie pass subscriber was seeing 2.2 movies a month now since they changed their rules in september that was at 0.77 so about three quarters of a movie in a month is the average for what people are seeing with movie pass right now maybe that's making them money obviously without changing their price that should have a much higher profitability rate but it sounds like they've lost so many of their subscribers it's not equaling out helios and matheson will continue to try to spin off movie pass in a shareholder meeting next month but as of right now, their stock is still trading for a little less than two cents. So it may just be over for them. This could be the end. Let me know your thoughts about this. Do you think this is actually the end for MoviePass? Do you think maybe by early next year, they don't even exist anymore because they've mismanaged everything so poorly? I do wanna give MoviePass credit though for introducing competition into the market. Now we have other options for people who wanted a movie subscription plan. And even though, yeah, of course they're more expensive than what MoviePass started out with, which wasn't profitable we do have some deals especially for avid moviegoers but that being said will you be sad to see movie pass go do you think they could turn things around and start making money or do you think there's nothing they can do and they're going to be gone let me know your thoughts in the comment section below be sure to like subscribe share hit me up on social media and we'll catch you next time